Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Root Beer here, hoping you're all doing well, and hoping you're all excited to take a look at question seven on the 2014 Manitoba Math Contest. So we got a two-parter here, uh, seven. For the system of equations, 2a plus b plus c plus d is 5a plus... So it looks like we got uh, two times the uh, variable along the diagonal, and other than that, it's just a plus b plus c plus d. And we got 5, 7, 2, and 6. Okay, this just looks like sort of uh, a system of equations. Now, system of equations tends to be done uh, sort of in first-year university, so you're not expected to, for example, turn this into a matrix or anything like that. Now, if you do know that stuff, I'm sure you'll get full marks with if you did use it. But we're sort of just going to be using basic solving systems of equations techniques. And in particular, I like this one because it's it's fairly symmetric. Um, uh, there's, I mean, it, it's got a very nice repeatable pattern other than those constants. So uh, the way we approach solving this system is going to be pretty methodical. But let's uh, get back to reading our question. A, solve for A, B, C, and D. Okay, that's, as I say, it's not going to be that hard. But now B part, we have a little twist here. Show that if there is no, show that there is no solution if every two in the system is replaced by a negative three. Okay, and again, if you knew linear algebra, you could take a matrix here and uh, uh, probably show something like a determinant or put it in row reduced echelon form, or a bunch of other fun terms that you may or may not recognize as I say them right now. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna find a regular old system of equations technique for showing that the minus three won't work. Okay, but we'll start with A first. So, got 2A plus B plus C plus D, and I think it was 5. Uh, A plus 2B plus C plus D, and I want to say it was 7, and then I think it's 2 and 6. A plus B plus 2C plus D, A plus B plus C plus 2D. Yeah, yeah, I got the order of the constants right. All right. Now, when I see something like this, it's so nice. It's got such a wonderful pattern that I'm just going to add them all up, and I'm going to get five A's, five B's, five C's, and five D's, and then uh, 12, 14, 20. So I can see that A plus B plus C plus D is going to be 4. Okay, well, now I know A plus B plus C plus D. If I just want A, I'll take the first equation. And uh, subtract off. And I will get rid of this extra B plus C plus D. And what am I going to be left with on the uh, left-hand side? Just an A. And so A is going to be 1. Similarly, if I take equation 2 and do the exact same thing, oops, sorry, this is this is 4, the one above it is 7, a, a plus 2b plus c plus d, and again, subtract, we're just going to be left with a b on this side, so b has got to be 3. And we can keep going. Oh, I didn't click the arrow, did I? So we'll take equation 3, and over here we'll do equation 4, uh, 6, and the D is 2, uh, D, and this was 2, 4, so we're going to get to C is negative 2 in the end here, but let's write things up. Nice and neat. So C is negative two. So uh, therefore, A is I uh, don't A is one, B is three, C is negative two, and D is two. And just as a little sanity check, A plus B plus C plus D is four because the the C and the D cancel, and just uh, A plus B is four. So that does A part quite nicely. Okay, but if we put negative threes in here. And what example did they say? Uh, no solution if every two appearing in the system is replaced by a negative three. Okay. 
C plus D uh, is equal to 5 is equal to 7. Now, this one is a 2, but I guess they want me to change it to a negative 3. It's not entirely clear, but it also isn't going to matter, as you'll see in just a little bit. Because the, the negative 3 is not arbitrary. It's negative 3 because we've got A's, A's, and A's. If you did the same thing but with another letter, so a plus C, you'd want a negative 4 to make this all not work. Uh, if you can't see ahead to why that is, just hold on for a second. Uh, and this one down here was a 6. And again, it has, does not matter. Uh, as long as this side here doesn't add up to 0, you'll be fine. So, uh, if we add up everything, we'll get 0 A's, plus 0 B's, plus 0 C's, plus 0 D's. So 0 times anything is just 0, but 5 plus 7, that's 12, minus 3 is 9, plus 6 is 15. So we've shown that 0 is equal to 15. That's impossible. So with negative 3s here, of course the system can't be solved. It's what we call inconsistent. No A, B, Cs, or Ds will ever give you exactly those numbers when you put them together in this combination. Okay, otherwise it would lead to 0 is equal to 15. Okay, now whether or not the minus 3, the 1, 2 on the, the right-hand side should have changed to a minus 3, I'm willing to bet they didn't, that they didn't take marks off if you did or didn't do that, because it is immaterial to the, the question. It's about the minus 3s on the left-hand side, although I do think they should have clarified that. Um, but yeah, 0 equals 15, it's impossible, so your assumption that there was an A a B and a C and a D, so that negative 3A plus B plus C plus D is 5, and all the other ones being true can't be, it must, one of those at least must be wrong. Okay? One of them must be an incorrect assumption. So, you know, you, you could get a solution if, for example, that 6 at the end changed to a negative 9. Then it's, it might be possible to solve this. But uh, until you uh, change it to something like that, if you get 0 equals something not 0, you've done something wrong. And that's true across the board in all mathematics, not just in solving systems. Okay. So that was, uh, what we said? That was question number 7. In uh, the next video, we're going to go through, oh, I remember this one, question number 8. So we will talk about that in the next video. I'll see you guys there.